Nothing like a good sleep. Not tired at all. Perfect sleep. All right, beetle people. Ho oh, ho, you folks did it. I knew asking you to do this was the right choice. This this is what you want me to wear, but it's a bit um embarrassing, don't you think? Now you say it's embarrassing. But these kind folks went all the way to the coin palace to get it for you. You were the one who wanted to help. Liu Jiang. Truly these delicate karmets would weep at losing a chance to adorn your form, my lady. My lady. Oh, okay. Just give me uh give me a moment, please. Bow before me, maggots. Oh, 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 on your knees. This is brilliant. Did I say you could speak worm? I am the Beetle Queen. I can't thank you enough for retrieving this costume for me. Yes, perhaps some sort of reward is in order. Oh, <laughs> no need to worry. It won't be anything too painful. Just leave tonight's performance to me. The men in this city won't know what hit them. Yes, ready your stakes, boys, because tonight the tents shall rise. Wow, Lu Jiang was so eloquent. Who is this Jiang you speak of? I am the Beetle Queen. Oh boy, how utterly splendid. I knew she would pull it off, uh, through. Tonight's carnival is going to be a smashing success, I just know it. However, there is one thing we still need you to do. Yes, a job of the utmost importance. An important job? What is it, huh? What is it? We have to get you all the customers, don't we? While our crab, crab pot is overcooking. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> You got a smile, son. Smile! Welcome. Ah, it's Mung. Well, if it isn't Her Majesty's little pea. You going to the carnival too? Nah, have to work. Aren't you responsible? Oh, oh good luck with that. And now, taking the stage, Kitty, the ferocious jungle cat, and her trainer, El Tigre. Can we go watch now? Can't. Gotta work. Uh-oh. Well, hello there, Sonny. Here for the circus? Weird kid. And now the fastest arm this side of the dam, the steel-armed wonder, Raging Cage Olsen. I want to watch. You got to work. But it's so boring. Can't I just watch for a bit? Ah, uh, John, our crab pot. Yeah, only a few hours overcooked. Overcooked. How how disappointing. 
if they'd actually been able to recreate that crab pot. <laughs> I might have actually been forced to throw in the towel. It seems Lady Luck is on my side. <laughs> Lily's not going to know what hit him. He never in a million years expected that John could make his beloved big damn crab pot. Lovely. Here comes my migraine. Wait. Is that a cigar I smell? Lily's already here? You haven't touched anything, have you? If you've sabotaged all of John's hard work, oh, you've done a far better job of, at that than I ever could. Hey, you can't just walk out of here. This is the big damn crab pot, your favorite. Yes, 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 let me just ask you one thing. Yes, yes, and let me just ask you one thing, will you? What's the most vital thing to remember for a successful crab pot? Why, just the right amount of time in the pot, of course. Oh, no. I've seen enough, though I'm a bit hungry for some crab now. I'll need to have my chef cook me a replacement. have one chance left. Are you even taking this seriously? You've yet to produce even a single dish I can actually eat. You had time to go play around at the circus. Why not put those heads to good use and actually think up something good? Good look, my frying pan upside the head. Next time. Next time you're going down. Come on, John. Let's head back inside. We can still uh, eat this, right? If you don't have any taste buds, maybe. But it was only barely overcooked. Can't be that bad. Do you not remember the time you ate those mushrooms? Playing around at the circus, huh? Who does he think he is, huh? We weren't playing around. Huh? Well, what's that smell? Smell? You mean the crab pot? It, is this John's crab pot? How did it turn out so... So, you didn't add something weird to it, did you? Hey, my cooking isn't that bad. It's just overcooked. These crabs are a little mm, delicate. It's really easy to overcook them. I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow. I wouldn't if I were you. If I know Lee, he's already gorging himself on crab pot right now. And without that spark of pure, unadulterated, childlike surprise... I just don't know if it'll have the same effect. But then what are we going to do? What are you waiting for? Just knock. This is the princess's house. Who is it? We're here to see John and Sam. Could, could we come inside? Of course you may. Just uh, don't let the smell bowl you over. Ah, it's you guys. Holy wowza. This is the princess's house. It's ginormous. Huh, and everyone from the troop is here too? I misspelled troop in my video, but I don't care. Somebody slapped me with the dead fish. What is that smell? I'm having visions of Jasper's sucks. Oh, that's just our crab pot. Our um, slightly overcooked crab pot. 
<coughs> I thought the princess's house would be pink. Yeah, and smelling like cookies and fairy dust or something. Ooh. Quiet. No one wants to hear pitiable. Pitiable? Appraisal. The show, how did the show go? It was a booming success. It was? Oh gosh, oh wow. Then that means you guys can stay, right? You don't have to leave? Indeed, which just leaves your little problem. Our little problem? Yes, Jasper already filled us in. He said the two of you have gotten yourself embroiled in a little wager with Lee. You per folks sure got balls of steel going up against the Lee. Only New Dam City's most cur <sighs> curtastic crime lord. A real son of a snake, that one. At any rate, seems like the perfect time for our troop to step in and save the day. Lily's not really that bad. <laughs> so cute. Lily's not really that bad. You could say the na same for her body. <laughs> Smack. Oh, oh, oh. What, what I meant to say was, uh, gifts. We brought gifts. Gifts to help you wipe that smug grandma, grin off Lee's face. You mean all of this is for us? Holy cow, this is amazing. Is this snow playing cactus? Wow, I've never even seen this in the flesh before. Stupendous. The princess has such a keen intuition. And is this cheese? It looks a little weird. It's cheese from my hometown. But it's not just any cheese. This is the hard rock cheese. And these are called fright shrooms. They're so good, they'll give you a fright. <laughs> <coughs> what, no good? They look like normal mushrooms. This, this, this is amazing. Now we're gonna win for sure. Quick, John, we gotta get cooking. But I thought we'd have wanna cook something for like freshness. It smells so good. It certainly looks more appetizing than our previous attempts. But I still can't help but feel that we're missing that yes factor, that ultimate clincher. I found them, I found them. Huh? It's Jasper. Allow me to introduce the great, the brilliant, William the Merchant. Oh, and his assistant, Daniel. Oh, no. I'm a little low on my funds right now. We meet again. You guys know each other? We first met on board Charon. We also gave them the glazy berries yesterday. That's not suspicious at all. Don't worry, we're not trying to trick you this time. Let me do the talking, please. After hearing that our magnanimous benefactors had found themselves in a crisis, we thought it only right that we offer re recompense, recompense of sorts. And the suspicion grows. Let's just hear what they have to say. Have you fine ladies ever heard of Quake Valley? You mean the dump? Yes, yes, it has developed that alias, as it were. There's a lot of earthquakes there, so people call it Quake Valley. And not just any quakes, you see. If my intel is correct, those quakes are caused by a rather rambunctious creature known as the trem Tembler Trip Fish. Trip. <laughs> Yeah, but that thing's not edible. And an astute observation, my dear princess. I see you've some, done some research of your own. <laughs> well, mostly thanks to Izzy. 
But have any of you ever given any thought as to why the fish causes a, its tremulous trembles? We're still not really sure. Maybe it's got an itch and, and, and because it doesn't have any hands it can't scratch it. An excellent hypothesis, Sam. You may be a scientist yet. But a flawed conclusion, I'm afraid. No, the reason behind this is a bit more gluttonous. Did you know the fish are quite sensitive when it comes to earthquakes? Even the slightest tremor will send them hopping and skipping atop the water surface. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. For you see, our gorm gormandizing friend uses these quakes to dine on its pristine, pristine brethren. What a smart fish. Indeed, but what's next is key to this whole affair. The bulk of this fish's diet you see consists of a fish so delicate, so delectable, so dreamy. Why you'd never want to partake of another fish again. The Golden Valley Snapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know that. That thing's basically primo when it comes to gourmet cuisine. The Golden Valley Snapper smells like lilies and tastes as sweet as honey. Its flesh has a tantalizing texture that dances in your mouth. And not only that, it's full of nutrients too. It's the cream of the crop when it comes to fish. Quick Valley's diamond in the rough. This fish sounds amazing. The only problem it's, is it's very crafty. You can't catch it like a normal fish. Only the Tembler fish has ever been able to catch it. Putting two and two together then it would seem our task is simple. We have to find the Tembler fish. We have to find our snapper. Wait just a minute here. Who said we'd agree to any of this yet? Of course, whether you choose to step forth on the adventure is completely up to you. Yet, I cannot be the only one thinking that your choices are, shall we say, limited. I gotta admit, I've got a pretty fierce herring carrying for Snapper now. <laughs> I always wanted to give that golden fish fiend a try. And Quake Valley sounds super cool place. Marvelous, marvelous. Then it seems you've already made your decision. Shall we meet, say, tomorrow morning at the big station? I do hope you'll have a wonderful night's sleep. Sweet dreams. Think you'd be nicer to us since we came from the same village. John, you're finally up. We've got to get going pronto. Daniel and William are already waiting for us at Big Station. Station. Ding. All aboard. Going to the big station. But you know, there you are. Come now, come, come now, this way. <laughs> That's the John I know, always prepared for everything. Now then, it's straight up those steps and to the right. That's where you'll find the cave leading to the Quake Valley. It's no short distance, so prepared for a walk. 
Not more than an oversized junkard, that place. Untouched by human hands as it's been. It's now nothing more than a breeding ground for unruly beasts. But you'll, of course, have no problem with any of that, I'm sure. No risk, no reward, or so the, or the, so the saying goes. Let us meet in the, va the valley, then, shall we? Alright, bye-bye. Yeah. I got this. Not like I've been there before. Wasting everyone's time, just going where I want to go. Do 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 do. the damage because I'm stupid. John, look, it's the gate. We're here. It looks so heavy. Nothing. Too heavy. That's a good whack from the old. I guess I believe I may have forgotten to tell you. It'll take a bit more muscle to move this mountain. If you would, Daniel. Though, do try not to break anything this time. Oh, okay. That's far enough, Daniel. Daniel? Daniel? Is this far enough? Whoa, Daniel, you're a hunk. That's that's my cur curse. Curse? Ahem. Indeed, and the reason behind our travels. But that's a long story, I'm afraid. But the more important is finding that snapper. You guys just cover up an entrance. I could have swore there was something there.
Do, do, do. Salty. Come on. Gear Park! Go. Uh. Really, guys? Really? Oh, I don't know. Garbage bags help stuff, so it's.
KO. Go back and see. Okay, one more try. Oh, that stuff I think again had their spikes back to them. Good to know. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna save my life. Oh, 
dog water. All right. calculation badly. How is that remotely? You gotta bomb that at the right time? You don't want none of this frying pan, do ya? Cook you up, Mr. Fly Crow. I don't know. What are those? Fly wings on a crow? No more bothering us. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that was so not right. Okay, yeah, back on the commentary, I guess. Um, yeah, but you know, just going through the junkyard. You know, I wanted to beat this crow's butt, but he won't let me. 
And that's why, because he knew what was happening. See the thistle stems. Oh, I can. What do we get? A pearl of the Valley? Is that gonna be the thing? Is that like Lily's pacifier from when he was a child? Rare and beautiful pearl. Guaranteed to get you the love you need. Okay. attack me like that come on come on <clears throat> bring it bring it oh now you're gonna wreck me yeah you thought that was a yeah yeah you're gonna land on top of me Frying pan of justice will defeat you. Oh, not you, because I forgot about you. Anything in here? Nope. Uh. We did it again. Do 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 do. John, John, look. What is this? We're gonna go white, uh, white rapid water rolling with this vehicle. This is a a, a jeep. Yeah, did you know that, John? Huh. They were used. They used to use these back in the war. Oliver told me that. Pretty smart, huh? Pew 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 pew. John, we're 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 in the middle of a, of the battlefield, John. And our enemy is uh the tremor fish. Yeah, the dastardly king of the darkness, Sal Solomon. Lieutenant John, watch out. That was close. Solomon's magic missile almost blew us away. Eek, here it comes again. Hard left, John, hard left. Oh, that's some top right giant driving, Lieutenant John. Oh, come up on the other side. That must be Solomon's castle. Get ready, Lieutenant John. Wait for it. Wait for it. And fire. Oh, boy. Oh, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Or Sam Beckett when you need. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. 
Oh my god. Who made this? Oh. If only there was brakes. Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh, I have nitrous! Furious, eat your heart out. I'm right. I'm driving a jeep on water. Oh, not really. Well, actually, I'm getting about much, as much crashing as I do in Fast and the Furious. So, Nitro. Just send it! Wow, we can't stop! Look, it's, it's Daniel! <laughs> They're still not here? Yet? You don't think something happened, do you? Don't tell me. You're questioning my intuition. It, it, uh, I would never. Ah, yes. Here they come now. We're gonna crash Daniel out of the way. Oh, ah. uh, land to mass ratio there, buddy. That that wasn't gonna go well. And yeah, no brakes. You're lucky I had a seatbelt on, man. You're lucky I don't sue you. That was quite the entrance you made. You guys want to take a ride in the Jeep, too? It's awesome. That... That's not a Jeep. Ah, ah. Tomato mini, uh... Stupid A button. To see one in flesh. That's amazing. All right, let's keep our eyes on the prize, shall we? You mean the golden snapper. Let's go find him, John. That guy's gonna be trouble for sure. Make sure you're ready. Just in case. As you already know, I'm an expert at storing memories. But when it comes to memories themselves, I know very little. Save my memories? Yeah, sure. Ain't much gonna change now. We going in there with three hit points? Three hit points plus five uh, plus Oh. Oops. Eh, might as well. You know what? Let's spice it up. Oh, terrible. Do 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 do. Not bad, not bad, but we'll see how it goes. Daniel? Daniel, what happened?
Ow. Am I supposed to burn the grass though? Ow. I'm forgetting all my buttons. Okay. Are you gonna laugh at me again or are you gonna attack me? You're laughing, okay. You look more like like a like a eel than a fish, but okay. I'm a little lost right now. I'm assuming I just got a blow up a sparkless. Uh, I'm assuming that's what I had to do. So, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get mad at me. Get mad at me. Yeah, give me that anger. All of it. All of it. Come on, destroy me. Destroy me. Come on. Ow. I'll probably shoot you with that flamethrower. Ow. I think I've angered him. Yeah, health thingy, another health thingy, another health thingy. Well, these are bombs, but. Oh, 
Oh, two fur. Come on, destroy me. Come on. Oh, you. Oh boy. Oh yeah, he's really working on it. No, I actually don't know where you're at. Yeah, keep laughing, keep laughing, keep laughing. laughing now, are ya? That was actually a pretty okay boss fight for me, I think. Oh my god, guys. Second row of hearts. I feel so good now, you know. It's like, you know, Legend of Zelda. A bit smaller than I had imagined. This is the Golden Snapper? Golden Snapper, ah uh, yes, just a moment. I'm gonna get vomited up, Golden Snapper. There's a morsel you so crave. I'm sure that thing's fresh. Tame the Golden Valley Snapper. John? We're gonna win for sure now. Shall we get to work as well then, Daniel? Y yes, sir. What are you What are you going to do with him? Not to worry, my lady. We simply need to borrow a little something from him. Y yeah, this slippy, slimy stuff on him. What a weird smell. That that's because it's this species' breeding time. See, because there's a special hormone inside of his slime. Makes the fish of the opposite sex go wild, and so we're going to use it to make a perfume. It should sell like hotcakes. Shouldn't you two be running along now? We all know Lee isn't blessed in the patience department. Man, that wasn't actually a bad area. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I ain't gonna mess with any of that. Yep, just easier to avoid all that. You, mosquito ball throwing man, just need to die because you're annoying. Ah, those are bees. I thought this was like a cemetery too. That was wrong. <sighs> Good day. Welcome to New Damn City Subway Service. Where would you like to go? New Damn City. Please wait on the platform. Stop, New Damn City. <laughs> what? Lee's goon's gonna stop us from leaving. Oh, 
no. What do you want? It's nearly Jennifer's birthday. Have you found a pearl yet? Yes. Splendid. Absolutely splendid. I won't forget this. <coughs> Here you are, your reward. Ooh, 200 salt. Guy knows how to, you know, make you salty. Just go see for about an update to my weaponry. Oh, really was that? I don't think this was it, but. Oh, it's Johnny's Emporium. That's where I need to go. Ooh. Oh. And I'm broke again. Some would say it's worth it though. You got a bigger backpack, you know. Besides, I don't think the was it Sonic Punk? I don't know who the who the blue haired kid is now. Boom do 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 Don't you think this seems a little normal? Shouldn't it be like more remarkable or something? I'm coming in. Lee's here. Well, what do you think? Does it say something? I, I, I admit my defeat. But boss, we won! John, John, we won! Th this is truly a masterpiece in culinary design. The hard rock cheese, the fried shrooms, the snow playing cactus and this, this fish, so over battered that it's terrible. That that's a Golden Valley snapper, a Golden Valley snapper, remarkable, simply remarkable. This meal, it's it tastes like friendship. Well, we are you are our friendly. Uh, I am. <laughs> I might even give up smoking. You can easily conquer this city, you know that? Tell me then. What is it you want? Name your prize. I, I, I don't really want anything. Don't underestimate me, girl. There's not a single inch of this town my influence can't reach. Or perhaps you'd like to take my place, to sit on top of the world. But boss, quiet. I've lost and I'll accept the consequences. Anything you wish, dear. Anything at all and I'll make it happen. Er, mm, I wish that you could come eat dinner with us every day. And John can make you all kinds of crazy food you've never even seen before. Ha <laughs> And they say that day Lee's heart grew ten sizes. I take it back. I take it back. You couldn't just conquer the city. You could conquer the whole world. <laughs> well, guess that just about wraps up everything, huh? An upgraded frying pan? We, we won! Oh, right. What's this? Oh, this is Lily's left it for John. Oh, this is Lily left it for John. I said it was a, a prize, you know, for winning. Looks like some kind of a pan. But it's square. I've heard that some of the world's best chefs actually prefer this sort of pan. Really? Well, then I guess that means John should like it too. Attack power increased by 5,000. That plus my other, like, 
7,000 means my power level now is over 9,000. We done here? Oh, hey, that's a pretty nice pan. I see. See, Izzy knows. This is the pan Lee Lee gave John. And apparently, only an amazing chef can use it. Appropriate that it's going to John, then. Pan leveled up and now deals more damage. Told you. Told you. It's over 9,000. You know, there's something different about John now, come to think of it. No doubt a result of our first big win. Alva's laboratory proves victorious. Not sure I describe it as a big win. Let's wait until we find a cure before we say that, huh? And a victory deserves a celebration. And there's uh, and there's your true motive. <laughs> Peep your peepers at this. What's this, huh? What's this? A ticket to relaxation in the hot springs. Hot springs? What's a hot springs? Can you drink it? I think you'll be able to answer your own question after you see it. Meet us outside town and we and all your questions shall be answered. <sighs> Don't get old. You'll just yawn. And yawn. And yawn. Well, I'm out of money. Are you guys out of money too? How are you guys doing? How was the work today, Ned? It was, you know, great. Yes, great. Heard tell someone selling Tembler jelly in the dragon market. Why not get some for the wife? That Tembler fish? That's... That's... Yeah, that's the same one you folks caught, ain't it? And how you beat Lee. Pretty impressive. Fat Fang would really like it then. Hot Springs. Please wait on the platform. Ding. Oh, hello. Hello again, my friends. To think I'd find a place like this outside the city. Fascinating. Reminds me a lot of my own village, actually. Simply marvelous. Oh, I can't talk to Mimi anymore. That's just sad. You're here, then. Let's go. To the hot springs. Let's go. Might as well go while it's still hot and the miasma hasn't taken over. Oh, that person's short. Welcome. Oh, 20 ahead. You want milk? That's going to be an extra 10. Miss Fumi? <clears throat> oh, if it isn't Princess Alva. Look, dear. Look who's here. Oh, we. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Consider it on the house today, little missy. We've got free tickets from Lee. You. You're the ones that won that bet against Lee, aren't you? Hey, <laughs> in the flesh. Come on, Sam, this way. Aren't you coming, John? Your father needs to use the other door, dear. Last one in is a rotten egg. Hey, no fair. Those black things, something just doesn't sit right with me. And the monsters outside town, they've all almost seemed restless lately. Can't help but feel like something bad's about to happen. Izzy, bring the shampoo, will ya? Tomorrow I'll go. 
make sure that old fan's still in the working order. Is he? Come on. You too, John. Hurry up. The water's great. <laughs> Who knew we'd be getting such a lovely show today? Dear. Uh oh, you're in trouble, buddy. Uh, I got a rubber ducky at least. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. They still need a bit more time, I believe. Why not take a walk in the yard? Stop right there. No one leaves this building without having a glass of milk first. You can't call yourself a son of New Dam City without a tall, cool glass of the white stuff. This one's on me, son. Look, 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 look. Good job, John. You're a man now. Whoa, that happened last time I drank milk. Now you can call yourself a true citizen of New Damn City. Nothing like a hot soak after a long day. Heaven, I tell you, pure heaven. Huh? What's this? What's he doing here? Helper bot currently in auto mode. Priority sets to charge battery. Helper bot is charging. Signal approaching. Reconnecting to Alva. Executing. Ex exiting auto mode. Goodbye, lab assistant John. And then, and then, boom! Daniel caught the mini pickup right out of the air, he did. Mini pickup. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, that bat. It's four speed manual transmission. Sorry, everyone. That button likes to get auto, apparently. And it was one of the manufacturer's rare white models to boot. That's, that's genius, Sam. You're so smart. <laughs> I just learned it myself. The light of the moon illuminates the path back to the city. This is the first time Sam has been able to admire the sky since reaching the surface. And what a beautiful sight it is, so big and vast that it could swallow her right up. But there's something disappointing about it, too. Isn't this just another dome, higher than the one in Pockrock Isle? But still, what could be on the other side of that dome? She'll have to ask Alva. Alva knows everything. Everything there is to know. Dream come true. To be continued in the next episode... That's what's happening right now. And we're going to take a little break here. I 
guess everyone else will find out, you know, in the next episode.